Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited you're here at Kelly Renee Every Day, where we're gonna continue on working on our crocheted washcloth, which is, gives us great practice on the fundamental stitches in crochet. So, so far we've done the slip knot, the chain, worked on the single and double crochets. Now we're gonna be putting it together to make our washcloth. So let's get into it. Okay, let's start here by looking at our completed washcloth. We need to start our project by chaining 28 chains along and creating our first row of single crochets to start this off. Then we're gonna go alternating rows with a double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, all the way until we get done with our washcloth. Now, we are going to be creating a washcloth that is about, now I'm not gonna say exact, but about, about eight and a half inches wide, and again, by about seven and a half, eight inches long. Now, that the beautiful thing about crocheting, creating your own projects, is you can make this as long or as short as you want. I find this size is a nice medium-sized washcloth. It will stretch a little bit as you are using it because of the water that's going to be in there, and um, and then it'll when you wash and you dry it, it'll go back to its original shape. So I find this isn't too large or too small and it works out really great. So this is the size that we're gonna be creating, but again, you can customize it to what you want. So if you want it wider, you just chain some more stitches along your base here and that's gonna make you a wider washcloth. If you want it longer, you're just gonna add rows to it. That's it, okay, so that's the beautiful thing. So what I have done is I've grabbed out a new ball here and we're going to get started on this project. So it's a nice little review here as we get going. So I'm gonna first get my yarn on my hook with that slip stitch, okay. Pull it up through, snug on, whoopsie, snug on with my, my free end here. There we go. And I'm gonna wrap around and twirl around my finger. Kind of in the middle here. Push this off to the side, have some free yarn over here and I'm going to start chaining. So I'm simply gonna yarn over and pull through. And we're gonna do this 28 times. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, a little. <clears throat> 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay. Now, this was my last chain, not the loop that's on my hook. This was my last chain. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to work my single crochet back along my chain. So, as I look here, I am going to be putting my needle directly into the second chain from my hook. So this was the first chain, this is the second. So right there is where I'm gonna be putting in, okay? So a single crochet, as you remember, is putting my, my needle directly into my work. So I'm not gonna yarn over, that'll be the double crochet row. So I'm gonna go directly in to that spot I'm gonna pull through and I'm gonna yarn over. I'm gonna, remember I'm gonna rotate and I'm going to rotate it down and pull it through so that I get two loops on my barrel. Then I'm gonna go yarn over and I'm gonna pull through both of those loops. That's my first single crochet on my row. Then I'm gonna continue on and I'm going to single crochet each and every stitch along. So I'm gonna go in, yarn over, pull through, I've got two loops, yarn over and pull through both. Then I'm gonna do the same thing. Go straight in, yarn over, pull up two loops, yarn over and pull through, okay? Continue, you go in, yarn over, pull up that second loop, yarn over and pull through. Okay, now you are going to continue I'm gonna just pull this out right here. You're gonna continue that single crochet all the way along until we get to the end, okay? Now, what I would encourage you to do right now is stop 
the video, make sure that you've got your 28 chains. You turn, you're going to do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook, and then you're going to do single crochets all the way back. Now stop the video here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in and I've got a new one started here so that we're going to then continue on. So I'm going to put this one over to the side just to kind of save us a little bit of time on the video, but feel free to stop at this point if you need to. So what I've done on this work is I've worked my single crochet all the way along here. Okay. I've got it all done except I've got a couple stitches at the end here. I'm actually, I've got two left. Okay. So I'm going to put my hook back into my work, snug up, and I am going to get in place here. So I've got my single crochet all the way along. I've got my second to last here. I'm going to put it in and I'm going to pull through the two. And then I've got one more. That one more is right before that slip stitch that I created. So there's one more loop right there to go into it. Last chain. I'm going to do that one. Go in, pull through, got two on my hook, and then I'm going to pull through both. Now I'm going to pull this out for a second and we are going to count the stitches that we have created. Okay. This is important. I need to have 27 stitches that I have created of single crochet. I chained 28, I skipped one and then I started my row back. So 27 is now going to be our magic number. And it's important to count the 27 each time because that's going to ensure that our, that our washcloth remains a, a rectangle or a square. So I'm going to start, I'm going to kind of pull this out of the way and I'm going to count my V's. Okay. Or my braids, if you would, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27 is on the very end there. Okay. It's kind of, it's kind of coming around. Okay. But we're going to be, we're going to be, um, using that as we come back with our double crochet. So now the next stitch that we're going to do on the next row is going to be double crochet. So we've ended this row. Now the double crochet, as we know, is a taller stitch. So to start off that row, we need to chain one and chain two. And that's going to start a double crochet that gets us like tall enough, if you would now to fill that space along. Now I've chained two and I'm going to turn. So I'm literally going to turn the work just like that. And now I'm going to continue on. Now this is, this takes something to get used to. Again, this is going to be another practice and this is going to turning the work and then your rows is going to just be something that we, you know, are going to continue to do. Now the first stitch that we're going to go into is going to be the very first stitch that we have here. So we have the two chains that went up and this is the first stitch that we see as the full V. Okay. And that's going to be the one that we are going to, um, work into. Now double crochet starts with a yarn over and we're going to go directly into that base stitch right there. Okay. And we go underneath the two V's. Now when we were working the double crochet on the chain, we only went through that one loop. We are going through two loops. So I'm going to, I'm going to actually take this out and I'm going to stick my hook into the space. It's right here. And notice when I do that, I'm underneath that V I'm underneath that V. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to yarn over first. I'm going to go into that underneath that V, the full V yarn over, pull through. I've got three loops up on my hook. Yarn over, pull through just two. yarn over and pull through both. And I finished that stitch. Let me get some yarn off of my ball here. Okay. Get back in this button into place here. Now I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go into the next V. So I'm going to kind of come off here again. My V is right here. And this is the trick, you know, as we work these rows now, we got to know where we're going to go in right below. Hopefully you can see this on the video right below that V right there. Okay. So let me get back in yarn over, go into that stitch underneath both V's yarn over, pull through three loops, yarn over, through two yarn over through the last two. All right. 
second crochet or another crochet double crochet yarn over first go into that work underneath that stitch underneath the V yarn over pull through pull up that three loops on your on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through those two okay all right let's review again so here we're gonna go into this stitch right here and as you can see underneath here I'm going in underneath that full V okay so let me get that out yarn over to start right yarn over go in yarn over pull up that loop I've got three on my barrel yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two okay yarn over go in pull through or yarn over pull through I got three pull up that third loop I got three on my barrel go through two go through two now notice here I'm going to kind of pull this out okay as I'm going back I'm going to into each one of these single crochet stitches and I'm putting my double crochet on the top okay now I'm going to work this all the way to the end work it all the way to the end now I've already gotten this row started so if you need to stop this go ahead and do that work your double crochets to the very end and when you get to about the third to last stitch start back up because you will be right here okay so I've got double crochets all the way along all the way along and I've got just a couple left here because I want to show you how to turn this so feel free to stop here and come back in when you're ready but if you're continuing on with me I'm gonna snug this back in get my fingers in place get a little yarn off my ball okay and now I've got one two three stitches to go so let me get here I'm gonna yarn over go into that stitch pull up that loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the last two okay I've got another one right here here's another one yarn over go in that stitch yarn over pull up that loop I've got three yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and I've got one more stitch sometimes people will stop here but there's one more on the very end it's kind of slanting up it's the one where we turned that corner so we can't forget that one because if I if I stop and I count right here I'm gonna only have 26 stitches okay and I'll do that I'll count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 only okay and that makes sense because I need one more remember 27 is my magic number so I'm gonna yarn over and I'm gonna push through so again this isn't laying flat like the other ones it's kind of like at a slant as it comes around that corner and sometimes it's even a little difficult to get into it's a little tighter than the ones that are along the row so I'm gonna kind of push this down and I'm gonna put it through my V again okay there's that one last V there yarn over pull through two pull through two now I finished my row and that one makes the 27th um, double crochet okay so now the next in my in my uh, row here I did the single I did the double now I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna do my single crochet now to start the single crochet I need to chain one and then turn so chain one okay and then I'm gonna turn my work and now I'm going to put my single crochet into the top of each one of those double crochet stitches so I've got I've got I'm all set here and as I look at my work at my base I chained one this is gonna be my first chain that I'm gonna go into I hope you can see that okay now sometimes a mistake that early crocheters make is they they go one over you got to look at your chain there's one here there's a base right there so I'm gonna go straight in remember this is single crochet on this row I'm gonna pull up that loop and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through both and then I'm going to go into the next one underneath the V so it's really the same place that we're going to be putting into like we did on the double crochet but now we're going to go directly in without yarning over and we're doing single crochets across okay single crochets across and I'm going to do this all the way and at the end of my row don't forget make sure 
that you are going to count your stitches. Count your stitches. Okay, keep going, keep going all the way across, okay, until we get to the very end. Now, I just want to remind you at the very end here, when we look, we've got chain, 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 and we have this last one that we have to go into, all right? So let's get to the end and let's count one more time before I let you continue to work. Okay, so now I just want to remind you that, oopsie, I split my yarn here. Let's go back a second. Um, sometimes you have to do that. Pull apart a little bit. You'll do this a million times. <laughs> and um, sometimes you split the yarn. And all that means is I didn't get all of the strands, if you would, as I pulled through and such. Okay, so single crochet all the way across here. Single crochet. All right, let me get a little bit off my ball here. A bit off my ball. And then continue. There we go. Continue. Now, um, I am going to make sure that I have all of the videos linked in the description down below. But as you know, I also have a website. It's Kelly Renee every day as well. Please go out there and I have um, free patterns for you. Now, you may or may not know how to um, you know, work a pattern, but on many of those patterns, I also have the YouTube videos um, connected to them or linked to them so that you can see the demonstrations as well. So, um, so check out what I've got at kellyreneeeveryday.com, which is my website. Okay, so we're getting closer to the end here, getting closer to the end. Here's my second to last. And then here at the very top, I have one last one right there. So don't forget that one, okay? So I'm at the end. Now, like I said, every one of these rows, especially in the beginning, okay? Make sure that you're counting to be sure you have your magic number 27 of your Vs, okay? So I'm gonna start at the top here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, and twenty-seven on the very end. My grandmother used to tell me this is just a counting. This is all counting, is what uh, crocheting is. And she's right, okay? So you wanna to continue to count. If you're short, then you've got one more to go there, all right? Or you might not have gotten in that first one on the row, okay? So make sure that you have it. Now, you can look at your work and you can see if you're nice and even along these sides, and that's a good indication as well. But count your stitches, count those Vs at the top and make sure you have 27 full Vs. Now, let's turn one more time because our next stitch, because we just did the single crochet row, is gonna be the double. So when we start our double, we're gonna chain two, one, two at the end here, and then we're gonna turn. Now, it's, since it's a double crochet, we're gonna yarn over, and we're gonna go into that base stitch right at the bottom of where those chains were. That's gonna be our first one. Pull through, pull through two, pull through two, first one. Yarn over, go into the next stitch underneath the V, pull through, go into our next stitch. And what's really great about this, once you really get the hang of it and you really see where you're going in, I know I, I'm trying my best to give you a good view as I'm doing this work here, but I do realize it's not always easy. So make sure you're going into like, there's a space, there's a hole there where we're going underneath that V, okay? Yarn over, pull through, oops, I gotta yarn over first. This is a double crochet, now I go in. And I yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, okay? And you're gonna continue this now, all right? So now as we work, single, double, single, double, remember when you're turning to create the single crochet, it's one chain and then turn. When you're turning to create the double crochet, it's two chains and then you turn. Okay, now what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you work this as, as long as you want until you get to about seven and a half, eight inches tall. So single, double, single, double, single, double. 
All right, and when you're at the top, as long as you want it to be, then come back. We've got one more part to go where we're going to finish this up and we're gonna tie it off and weave in our ends. Okay, so if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you would um, give it a thumbs up. And then also, if, um, if you're enjoying the content that I have here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Okay, I will see you in our next part. We're, we're almost there.